joined now by Syracuse head coach Gary Gade after an uh, 18-13 loss to Duke in the ACC semifinals. We'll get an opening statement from Coach, and then we'll take some questions. Coach. <laughs> it was a tough game against a uh, motivated Duke team. So, uh, you know, they played outstanding, I thought. Uh, from the opening whistle, they were ready, and they were uh, ready to prove they weren't the same team we played earlier in the season and uh, really took it to us. I think uh, the layoff, you know, we were a bit rusty in the first quarter. We weren't intense. We weren't uh, putting pressure on anybody, and we were letting them get uh, dot, just get their hands free for some pretty good shots. And we dug a big hole, and uh, we couldn't bring, come back from that. But, uh, you know, certainly proud of our guys. They, ne they never quit, and they didn't quit. They kept uh, going all the way. and. You know, after the first quarter, uh, I thought we played them pretty well. Other than, you know, that first quarter, we really weren't ready to play. Is that, is that rustiness a concern going into probably at least a week break going into the NCAA tournament? Or No, no, that's a, you know, we had two weeks for this. So that's what really, you know, we hadn't played. We hadn't fit guys, were, you know, practice face-offs aren't the same as game face-offs with real reps, all that stuff. And it all came into play, you know. That first quarter was uh, just not good. What did you tell your players after that first quarter? Um, you know, honestly, that we we've, we've been down before. We got to dig in, and we did. We made a couple runs. We got within three. Um, and you know, and but we just couldn't, you know, keep it going, get over the top. You know, it's an amazing team. But, you know, they're incredibly athletic, more athletic than we are, and. Uh, they were shooting well today, and they played a lot better. So, uh, you know, it's tough to stop a team when they got to you spot them five goals in the beginning and, and seven goals after the first quarter, and it makes it tough. Coach, wasn't, what wasn't working out there for Will and Mark uh, in that first quarter, and why did you ultimately decide to move to Jimmy in that? Uh, you know, uh, one save, nine goals against, uh, it was tough. So that you know, you gotta try something to change momentum. Uh, you can't keep doing the same thing when it's not going your way. And it, at some point, you know, I thought I thought you know I gave him plenty of uh, opportunity to try and get back and see the ball. I, I certainly don't put it all on him. I think uh, you know what we needed to do was get some pressure on the shots so that he could get a feel for the ball. I hadn't seen a, a game shot in a couple of weeks and. Uh, he'll make sure he's ready for the next one, though. How do you think he handled the decision to be benched? Um, you know, he's he's a competitor. He's going to work incredibly hard to make sure he's ready for the next one. Coach, what went through the decision to move Sam to close for a little bit and just kind of rotate that defense throughout? <laughs> uh, I think when their attack started running by our guys, uh, we needed to make an adjustment, and we thought uh, Sam was – he played close uh, last year for us, and we knew that. And, you know, um, trying to get someone athletic back there to, to, to cover McAdoo. So, Coach, offensively for Duke, obviously, um, just their game by there. Just what, what do they do differently offensively this time around compared to on March 20th when you guys came to the A, they shot better. You know, number one thing is they, they moved the ball well, they didn't throw the ball away, they didn't make easy mistakes. Um, and a lot of that was the fact that we, we sat back in the first quarter and, and were on our heels backing towards the cage rather than getting out on them. And it just gave them time and room to get off quality shots. Two more questions. All things considered, are you happy that you got to go out and work through these issues in the ACC tournament? Or would it have been nice to not have this game in the back of your mind going into the NCAA tournament? No, no, I think this is a, you know, this is what lacrosse is all about. And that's why we have this tournament an opportunity to play for an ACC championship um, you know we didn't make it to the final but we got to move on because uh, we got to prepare for playoffs how can you assess the way that Jimmy played in that tonight you know uh, it's tough to get thrown in there and I thought he played pretty well um, I think he had nine goals against seven saves something like that um, which is good for a guy that hasn't had much game experience so you know, we were happy about that, and you know, we wanted to give him an opportunity. We got to see what he can do, and he got to see, you know, probably uh, one of the best shooting teams in the country. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much, coach. coach.